Wow! Maayong adlaw sa tanan o maayong pagtanaw sa itong online worship service. Kung unsa itong katugaling ng physical gathering, kung unsa ta ka excited mo anhi sa center, kailangan ingan na po itong excitement every time we we'll listen to the Word of God through online. Come on! Bisag online ni Karun, kibalta we are serving or worshiping the same God during physical and even during Karun sa online. So mo na yung makaingong kanono, wala, diligod na to mabutang si Lord sa box. And of course, seven months na tayo karun, no? Uh, grabe, nag-online for seven months and nakasuga ko ta and I think that is because of the grace of God. Uh, nakakontinue ta of worship even online and again, that is because of the grace of God. Maunang malipayon ta every Sunday or even throughout the pandemic and that is because of the grace of God. Now, pwede ba na ito, i-type na na sa itong screen. Thank you, Lord, for your grace. Come on. Come on. So, nindota, no, it's always about the grace of God. And, of course, I would like to thank, uh, to take this time to thank Pastor Zab for letting me preach, of course, today and to encourage us with the Word of God. And again, thank you, Pastor Zab. And, grabe, no, even during this pandemic, um, of course, thankful po ta sa leadership ni Pastor Zab. And even throughout the pandemic, nakabuha to ug local series. And that is because sa iyang time together with the Lord. And of course, amo atong gisagol-sagol, amo ang mga devotion. Kaya para kita ma-encourage sa even karon na season. Okay, for the past Sundays, we have our own local series. And the first local series that we have is what matters most. And previous lang, we talk about even greater. Come on, excited ba ta kung sa buhaton ni Lord? After any pandemic or coming this coming October, even greater will happen into your life. Come on. And wala pa ta na human, okay? Ikaduha pa to, week to pa to, ato ang even greater na series. Kay karon mo po sa kadali. Kay we have our series break. Kay kung makakita mo sa screen sa kuang luyo, it talks about the mission continues. Now, while we were reading or we were having our time or preparing the word today, I just, um, nakaingol lang ko ba na even during this pandemic, our mission should always continue. Come on. And that is to share the gospel. Even, yes, naka-experience na sa blessings ni God, naka-experience na breakthroughs, naka-experience na provision even during this pandemic. And how much more we're gonna continue to share the gospel to our loved ones, to our friends, and even to our classmates, or mayingong ka sa imong mga relatives, because the mission continues. Actually, excited ko. Okay, this is all about the mission that God has given to us as a movement. And one of our mission, Motigingo na, we will go and make disciples. And one way of making disciples is to go to a mission even during the pandemic or bisakun sa patong nagian sa tong kinabuhi. Our heart for the mission will never stop, but it will continue until Jesus comes. Ginduta. So kung may mong missions, no? Dili yung daigyapon mo stop even sa pandemic or unsay mong kiagian, nagkalisod na pa kasi mong kinabuhi, the mission will always continue kay until Jesus comes, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. And today, we're gonna share the power of the gospel to the ends of the earth. Mone pinaka importante na we will truly understand na kanigaling every time we share the gospel, be expectant na God will do something. So outcome-based objective, at the end of this series, our people will have a clearer understanding of the power of the gospel to change not only lives but nations and the responsibility of the believer to do the mission. So, very clear kitong outcome-based objective, no? We need to understand, Bonay Gingon, the gospel is powerful every time you share it, okay? It's not just for the sake of sharing it, but be expectant because it is really powerful. Mag-expect ka every time you share the gospel, expect something to happen sa kinabuhi sa usakataw. Come on, pwede na ni mo ma-relate sa imuhang kagulingon. Pag share sa usakat person sa gospel ni mo, you will change. And that is always our expectation. And take this responsibility as a privilege, Nindota. Because God has chosen you and me for this mission. The very impossible mission. But again, because of the power of the gospel, nothing is impossible. Now, every time makadungo ko aning mission, makunik nina ko sa kanang movie na 
kanagaling na ay soundtrack na dan 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 di ba provinciano <laughs> dili de provinciano okay mission impossible si Tom Cruise okay and every time mo kaingon kag mission impossible of course before mo ato og mission si Tom Cruise na siya equipment or tools to accomplish that mission now the same thing with us when God is calling us to go to a mission and mo na to share the gospel na gitagaan ang yung tools and that is the power of the gospel na makaingon ka na you don't need to worry you don't need to be afraid you don't need to be ashamed because when you speak the gospel or when you speak the word of God you will be effective you will become a witness and that is because of the power the power of the Holy Spirit na makaingon ka Lord salamat eh Lord namin ko bisagahi o kasing-kasing ang usa katao but when you share the gospel to that person Grabiha, kumuton ang kasing-kasing sa tao sa ginoo na makaingon ka, grabiha, Lord, uh, wala yung imposible kanimo. So, same thing with us. Okay? We have the tools, we have the equipment, and that is the power of the gospel. Never think, dili, mo, dili ni mo kaya. Never think it is impossible kayo. Never think lisura aning tawahana. But always remember you have the power of the gospel. Expect miracles to happen. Come on, when you share the gospel, every thoughts, every mind, mindsets will bow down in the name of Jesus. So come on, let's be excited as we continue uh, about the word karon uh, the mission continues. So we're going to be reading on Romans chapter 10, verse 9 to 18, and our focus verses is 14 to 18. So the theme sa to ang series karon is the gospel's power. So, chapter, uh, verse 9, it says, Because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. Come on. Remember the first time when you confess Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Remember the feeling. Remember the experience. Remember the forgiveness. Remember the joy. And remember the freedom. But if you confess with your mouth, it means we receive Jesus as our Lord and Savior, not because of our achievements, not because of your good works, but we confess that He will become our Lord and our Savior, and that is faith. Now again, your heart that God raised Him from the dead, the dead that you will be saved. You are willing to do anything, basta para kang Lord. Confess, it means He is Lord, Master, calls the shots, and you will obey. Mingong ka, believe in your heart. It means faith, not good works, not your achievements. Kay kung achievements lang atong pagasturiyahan or good works lang atong pagasturiyahan, kay para ma-receive na to si Lord as our Lord and Savior, makaingong diyo ka, walay makapasar ka na to. Because we are all sinners. Now, if ever man mo na itong kikwano tungod achievements or tungod man sa good works, na kung nagaingong na ang pinakasaba ko no, or dagaghambugiro ang langit kung tungod ang tao na save kay tungod sa iyang pagamaayo kay for example mo duol si Reyna na kumingon siya bro asa na no na langit man ka mo ingon ta yung kunya na wa kay tungod na man gud koy kitabangan so mo unang na langit ko di ba and of course kay si Reyna na langit pod kay tungod siya mo dili pod siya magpalupig magpahambugiro pod siya mo siya Okay, bo, baka saan mo nang nalangit ka, kay gitabangan po di ka. So kung makaingong ka, grabe yun kayo, kumingong ka, it's all just by good works, na makaingong ka, um, it, it's never about good works, but it is about the grace of God, and it is about our faith. So again, magpasalamat ni Lord, kay we are saved because of our faith, and tungod sa grace. Again, save, it means, we are saved from eternal damnation, or hell. From bondage of sin, even maybe some of you, katong wala pagidawat ninyo si Lord, no? Maybe some of you were thinking of committing a suicide. And because you received Christ and you are saying to God, Lord, I want you to be my master. I want you to be my Lord. Muragalig na, nakamatakan, nakingong ka, Lord, gano'ng mag-suicide? Pangko, my life is complete if, if I am with you. Okay? Safe from family dysfunction, from addiction, safe from lust. Safe from greed 
And I know, paghan pa ang gibuhat ni Lord sa imo ang kinabuhi. And that is why magpasalamat ang ni Lord from the time that we receive Him as our Lord and Savior. He is already our Master. But of course, He saved us from all of those things. That's why makaingon ka, Lord, salamat even you are watching online today. Makaingon ka ni Lord, salamat kay Lord. Na naa ko diri karon nakalingkod na minaw sa online preaching and that is because of your goodness. Then verse 10, for with the heart one believes and is justified and with the mouth one confesses and is saved for the scripture says everyone who believes him will not be put to shame. Verse 12, for there is no dis distinction between Jew and Greek for the same Lord is Lord for all bestowing his riches on all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Nindota kaning word na justified. It means we are made right in the eyes of God through His Son, Jesus Christ. We are made righteous. Come on. The righteousness of Christ is in you. You became blameless. You are sanctified. You are a new creation. You are a new creation when you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Sa ko ang kinabuhin no before I was uh, drug dependent. Come on. No, Rubihano, but when I receive Christ in my life, dependent on God. Come on. Sa una ko suki ko mo inum, grabi kayo pun una ko kunti yan kay para mahubog. But karun pag dawat na ko sa gino, ganahan na ko mapuno sa balaang ispirito. Woohoo! Come on. Nindota, my life was changed, transformed, renewed, and be testimony because of what Jesus did. My life was not ashamed anymore. Moto yung ingon sa Bible na sa verse 12. Na uh, verse 11, na believes in him will not be put to shame. Okay? My life was not a shame anymore, but it was a testimony of God's goodness in my life. My marriage or my relationship with my wife was restored. Nindota, both sa kong family, sa side ni nice, and of course sa kong side was restored because God saved me when I called upon his name. Come on. Thank you, Lord. And that's why I am so excited uh, this uh, today to share to you this word kay ako ning gitaytolan sa atong preaching karon excited daba ta tanan come on if you are ready can you please type sa atong screen dia i'm ready come on i'm ready come on ang title sa atong message karon is it's your time it's my time it's it's not show time but it's share time come on it's your time, it's my time to share the word of God to your loved ones, to share the word of God to your friends, to share the word of God to your office mates, to share the word of God even to your community, even to your neighbor, to share the good news, and that is what you have experienced. Come on, I know all of us have different story. kung unsa ta save the Lord. Kung giun sa ta, gi-save ni Lord, or giun sa ta, gipasaylo sa ginoo, and that is our time to share. Come on. The mission continues even during this pandemic. The mission continues even when we are facing a big hardship because it is your time and it is my time to share the gospel. Come on, excited ba tayong tanan? So let's go to our focus verse. That's verse 14 to 18. How then will they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in whom, in him of whom they have never heard? And how are they to hear without someone preaching? In Dota, no? So, katugyo to ang title, no? It's our time, it's your time, it's my time to share the gospel. Now, kanina verse, makita na to na itulok a question. And ang tulok a question, Gingondri, how can they call on him? So, this is referring to Jesus, okay? Unsaon na pagtawag ni Jesus. How are they to believe in Him? And how are they to hear? Now, one way to answer this one is, kailangan mulabay ko ninyo o question na pod, okay? So, ang question for everyone, palukog sa, be ready na, okay? Okay, so this is my question for everyone. How are we able to call upon Him? How are you able to call upon the name of Jesus? How are we able to believe in Him? How are we able to hear Him? Come on. The reason we can able to believe Him or call upon Him or hear Him, and that is because we experience the power of the gospel. 
It is your time, it is my time to share the gospel so that people can hear and believe Jesus. Come on. Dili lang pwede na matagat lang kalita para mutuo sila o makahear sila. It is our time, it is my time to share the gospel even during this pandemic. Okay? If, if you're a student, if you want your classmates to have a future, a good future, to excel in their studies, to honor their parents, to respect their teachers, their kuyas and atis, share the power of the gospel. Share the gospel to them because nothing is impossible. Come on, if you're a single, come on, if you want your single friend to honor their girlfriend or even their relationship, to honor their parents, to be successful in their career, share the power of the gospel. Come on, so more you than a solution. The only way that they could believe, the only way that they could hear the, the word of God is through sharing. And we're going to share it to them. And if you're a family life, if you're a couple, if you know someone na ilang marriage is about to fail and about to give up silang marriages, share the power of the gospel. And when they hear and believe because you share the power of the gospel, expect that their life will be changed from inside and expect that to happen. Come on. We need to share the gospel to them. If you even during this pandemic, ma pandemic man o wala, our mission should always continue, and that is to share the power of the gospel. In a may pandemic, muingon diyo ka amuhunong lang sa ko, muhunong lang sa ko og desire to reach out, muhunong lang sa ko to share the gospel. Aka sabut man siguro si Lord. Now our title ko atun tanawon ang series break nato. It's always the mission continues. It means no matter what we're facing, the mission continues. And then, but the more sa kong heart, when I was asking the Lord, or while I was reading this one, having my devotion time, sa karun na word, nakaingon ko ni Lord, Lord, I want to desire naka heart to have the urgency to share the gospel because especially karun na season. I am thankful to God na I was able to experience doing one-to-one online. Nagpasalamat ko ni Lord. Na even during this pandemic, naka one to one ko online and naka share ko sa gospel. And excited ko for him because na experience niya kung unsa ang ako na experience, and that is my relationship with God. And now I'm also excited because one of my close friends, come on, na very close ko din ako sa pag high school. Kibaw ni siya kung unsa kung mga binuhatan pag high school or even pag college, pag single. Kibaw ni siya. Ang nahita po, nanawag ni siya. Okay? Pag tawag niya, ni Sturia siya na siya problema. Okay? Pag ingon niya siya, na ako'y problema lagi siya. So, of course, excited ko to listen. But pag Sturia niya siya problema, kay Pirtig yung bukata, kibaw mo sa akong gibuhat. Ningon ko, bay, murag ang solusyon ragyot sa itong mga problema, noog sa mga problema, ang ginoo ragyot. Ningon ko niya, Pwede ba ta mag-pray? <laughs> so, kung mind ba, Lord, tabang, Lord, kay dilinin ako kaya, Lord. But I remember the word says that it is our time, it is your time to share the gospel. Na nakaingon ko, Lord, this will be an opportunity for me to share the gospel. And after na ko pray, ningon siya, Shan, uh, salamat kayo. Sa ako, apong una-una, Lord, salamat po kayo. <laughs> Kay what yung koy solution sa iyang mga ta, pangutana. But again, when I prayed, when we prayed together, and when I shared the gospel to him, muragalig ni gaan, and nakaingong ko, Lord, wala yung imposible kanimo. And after na ko pag-pray, niingong ko niya, and I told him, storya niya tagbalik, and excited ko kay ako ni i-share the power of the gospel, and that is through one-to-one. Now, if you're watching now, and nakahuna-huna ka, kung siyem na ang giingon ni Pastor Sean, kaning one-to-one. -one. Yung daw tanong. Um, pwede ninyo pangutan noon ang kanang kailagali ni mo na sigig tag every Sunday? Kabantay mo na, pantod kulit kayo, sigig tag. Sigig tag ni mo. Sigig, sigig tag taga Sunday eh. 
when you could text them after this online service, you could ask them on sending one to one, and kibalko excited po ni sila ang kaning nagtag din yun no, nakikingon nila on sending one to one, excited na sila mo explain, come on, so one to one, and of course kung nagtanaw ka karon sa online worship service and then kanagaling na kalita na ni mo pislit ang link, manigaw sa mo screen, nindota, naman po yipinag sa ingana no. You could always contact us. You could always message us. And we love to talk to you about kung unsa ning one-to-one. -one. It's actually one-to-one. -one. It's our journey with the Lord. Now, that's why I'm always excited na every time I'm doing one-to-one -one or sharing the gospel, kay kibaw ko na agay mausab sa tao na mapicture out na ko kung kagalingon sa una na kung wala kayo ni share sa gospel, no? Kung wala kayo ni continue sa mission, no? Would I would, will I be here right now talking to you about the goodness of the Lord. Okay, even in our movement, we will continue to send missionaries to the ends of the earth because our heart is to go and share the power of the gospel. Sending missionaries especially to a country na wala yod na kaila kang Jesus. Okay? It's not just a sending a missionary kay para mag-enjoy lang ato sa Osaka place, but again, we are sending them because we want the people there to experience the power of the gospel. And again, a question that believe na, and never heard, again, it is your time. So magbalik-balik ko ano na title na, it is your time. It's your time. It's my time to share the gospel. They are, there are people waiting to listen to the gospel. So be excited. So verse 15, going on, and 16, how are they to preach unless they are sent as it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the good news. Verse 16, But they have not all obeyed the gospel, for the Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed what he has heard from us. Who was sent? And how are they to preach unless they are sent? I'm, I'm happy to say, as a Victory Talisay, no? as a Victory Talisay congregation, we are happy to say na nakasenta o someone to go to a mission. Now, kanisya, ako lang ning itago sa ngalan kay kani manggod ato missionaries gisend nato sa usa ka place na uh, we need to protect them as well. So, akong gitago sa ngalan na MRT. Kibaw na man niya ni MRT, okay? So, grabe very successful ni siya na single na babae. Oh, ni sakpan na ninyo babae ako kayo. Okay? Iyang career, but God spoke to her to go to a city na makaingon Short ka, Lord. Come on. Kanagaling city na makaingontag. Kumusturya ko, O Jesus. Gabihan, Lord. Nabayan d'yo ko, O Bato. Kumusturya ko, O name, O Jesus. Pwede ko i-persecute na yun. Gabihan, kumusay ko about O Jesus. Pwede ko anytime. Pat yun po ko. This is the city na iyang giatuan. But again, because it was Jesus, it was God telling her to go. He goes, Lord, kung ikaw kyo di Lord, then I will go. That is her heart na makaingon siya, Lord, no matter what. Lord, this is my time. This is my time to share the gospel. And then, ang ang gigamit siya ni Lord to share the power of the gospel. And grabe, every time mo anhi siya, kay mo visit siya sa church, sa Victory Talisay, makadumotag testimonies upon testimonies. Makaingunta na naako na time na naay mga parents mo at to sa niya mo duol kay nga no gisharean ko no gospel. Now, kung makaingunta but at the end ang naita po nakareceive ang katong tao na yung gisharean o gospel and even the parents na makaingun na bless and that is because he she obeyed the Lord. Muna na kanindot na when we say it to God, Lord, this is my time. It is my time to share the gospel. And this is what I believe. If we will continue that mission to share the gospel, God will give you the boldness. God will give you the creativity. God will give you the wisdom. God will give you the heart to continue the mission. And that is to share the gospel. And every time she comes here, ma amazed na lang yung ko na makaingon ko, Lord, gabi ha, Lord. Makaingon ko na, Lord, kung ako siguro na ang ngato, huwag ko kibaw kung sa ipuhaton. But again, because she obeys the Lord, naka-experience of breakthroughs upon breakthroughs because someone shared the gospel to them. If you want your classmates, 
loved ones, family, friends, relatives to experience breakthroughs and breakthroughs, signs and wonders, miracles, share the gospel to them. It is this time, it's time, it's your time to share the gospel. It's not just, just focus kita for the past how many months, seven months, the pandemic, grabe kayo mo. Gabi kayo na hitabo sa tong nation or gabi kayo na hitabo sa tong kinapoy. But again, this will not stop us in sharing the gospel. The reason why we could still continue, the reason why we could continue to believe and have hope, and that is because we experience the gospel. And it is time for you to share the gospel. So verse 17, so faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of Christ. But I ask, have they not heard? Indeed they have, for their voice has gone out of all the earth and their words to the ends of the world. Allow the people to hear your faith in Christ. And that is true, the word of Christ. The reason we can still continue to, to hope even in the midst of pandemic, and that is because of our faith in Christ. The reason we did not entertain fear even in the midst of pandemic and that is because of our faith in Christ. The reason we did not allow sickness to be in our life and that is because of our faith in Christ. The reason why we are still smiling even in the midst of this pandemic and that is because of our faith in Christ. The reason why we are protected in the midst of this pandemic and that is because of our faith in Christ. The reason we are not afraid that it will happen to your business or to your family even during this pandemic and that is because of our faith in Christ. The reason why we are still blessed in the midst of pandemic and that is because of our faith in Christ. The reason why we could still lift up our hands and worship the Lord, and that is because of our faith in Christ. And this is your time and my time to share what we have experienced because the, the gospel that we have experienced is not just for us to enjoy it, but the gospel that we have experienced is, a, is we're going to share it to them. We're going to continue the mission no matter what, no matter what pandemic or no matter what season. We're going to share the gospel because we have experienced it and kibauka unsay na itapos from the time that someone shared the gospel to you. And that's why I'm encouraging everyone in the midst of this pandemic, it is your time, it is my time to share the gospel. And every time we share it, be expectant that per that person will change. The mission will continue. It's your time, it's my time, it's time to share the gospel, the power of the gospel. Now, one thing that I'm amazed of our movement is we continue and we'll never stop in sharing the power of the gospel to the ends of the earth. Because we know na yung mga tao na nangita o mga tubag sa ilang mga pangutan na sa ilang kinabuhi, that's why we continue to send missionaries. Now, kibahata sa itong series karon it's about the mission continues. It talks about the missionaries as well. A while ago, I mentioned one of our missionaries, si MRT. Negosia, cause niingon si Lord. And, but, kung ako, mingo ka, but pastor, what if wala niingon si Lord nako na mugo? Kaya kung calling, dilitay pag a missionary. How can I be part of advancing God's kingdom? Now, when we talk about uh, the mission continues. It's always about advancement of God's kingdom. We can give and we can support their calling. And through our support, we are helping them to continue their mission and we will be part of that mission. We also partner a church at Termo Leste, headed by Pastor Gilbert, uh, Gilbert Naron. And kung unsay win nila nga to, it will also become our win because we are, magingon ka, we could celebrate their win because ni partner ta nila. Kung unsa ilang breakthroughs, may experience po na to ato ang break, ilang breakthroughs. Muas mo ka ni Lord, 
okay? Because we are talking about how could we partner with the missionaries. This is also about giving. Muas buka ni Lord, Lord, is this part of my tithes? Come on. Your tithes is for the local church, okay? So para sa local church, ni mong 10%. But when it comes to your offering or giving, mo na gingo na, it is for the mission, it is above and beyond your tithes. So para dilit po ta maglibog, no? Na uh, ako ang tithes, ako lang ni no. Your tithes is for the local church, and that is oh, for the local church. The 10% is for the Lord. And of course, when it comes to your giving, when you want to support a missionary, that, as, that is above and beyond your 10%. And anakanindon, I remember what Pastor Zav Katoyangi shared ganiha, um, able to give. Come on. So if God is enabling you to give, say, mom, 10%, then God will give, able you to give when it comes to partnering with the missions. If you want to give and support our missionaries, you could always text Lynn, uh, ask her, because she's a finance officer here in Victory Talisay, and she's love to give you that instruction. Now, Pastor, if ever, um, yes, I have a desire to give, but for now, maybe next month or next year, what I'm is you don't need to worry. Just start it with a desire. Desire that you can partner with our mission while having that desire, you can also pray for our missionaries. Come on. So, nakanindot no, kung di ka give karon, of course, you could pray uh, for the missionaries that they're gonna experience God in a mighty way, that they're gonna have the strength and they're gonna have the grace to continue sa ilang calling. Okay, kung mayingong po kag missionaries, no? Uh, ako, makingong po, dili siguro lalim ang missionaries po. Kay layo sila silang pamilya, layo sila silang comfort zone. But again, they obeyed the Lord. Muna yung And we need, um, kailangan nato sila prayhan kay para makakontinue sila, makapasuga, makasugakod sila silang mission. And again, kibauta, the prayer, that prayer is very powerful. Because our one point of our message today is we are here to share the gospel. Now, I want you to be all excited. Now, when God uses you mightily, then expect something to happen. After hearing this message, message, maybe some of you impress the Holy Spirit that you will go to a mission and I'm going to pray for you. And also, maybe some of you impress with the Holy Spirit na mission, God is speaking to you. It's your time to share the gospel. Let us pray. Lord, we just want to thank you, God. Lord, I pray if there is someone here listening, watching this online, Lord, if you are speaking to them, that you are calling them to go to a mission, then Lord, I pray that they're going to be confident and Lord, that they will not be afraid, that they will be excited because you're the one who's calling them. And when you are the one calling them, God, then the provision will always follow. Lord, thank you even, God, for the favor upon favor. Lord, kung unsa na country ang imong impress ilang heart, that they're going to, Lord, that they will go there not because, Lord, just of seeking of going there, but they are going there because they're going to share the power of the gospel. And Lord, once they share the power of the gospel, Lord, they will see your hand moves, God. Lord, they will see signs and wonders. They will see miracles upon miracles. They will see even breakthroughs upon breakthroughs, God, to the person or to the nation that you are calling them in. Lord, thank you so much. And Lord, thank you, Lord, that you are the one who's calling them, God. And Lord, that is their confidence and even that is their security, God, that everything will be okay. And Lord, I even pray for someone who is here right now that you are talking to them, Lord, na grabe kayo, Lord, an audible voice ni mo, Lord, na you're saying to them, it is time for you to share the gospel to your loved ones. It is time for you to share the gospel to your family. It is time for you to share the gospel to your classmates. It is time for you to share the gospel to your husband or to your wife. It is time for you to share the gospel to your relatives. If you are that person, 
God is, commi- God is commissioning us to go and make disciples. And Lord, salamat kay Lord na every time we share the gospel, God, Lord, we are expectant that there will be change. And Lord, it is not by our skills, not even our talents, but it is about your power, God. And once we share your gospel, God, Lord, salamat kay Lord na ay transformation, na ay restoration, na ay testimonies upon testimonies, God. And someday, God, Lord, makita na mo, Lord, na we are all together, God, worshiping you, God, in spirit and in truth. Lord, thank you for your grace. Thank you for the calling, God, and even, God, for the mission that you have given to us. Lord, no matter what season, Lord, even during this pandemic, we will continue the mission that you have given to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Wow.